Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So, welcome to a special guide video. This is dedicated to iUserName on Reddit. Um, he made a really, really helpful post. I think this kind of came from when he did the, um, when I did the Dragon Speed 10 stream, he actually left me a comment talking about how he's able to use key bindings to get around the super, super annoying camera zoom in thing that Monster Super League has. Now, the logic behind this is actually very, very simple. Um, if you guys, I'll actually test it out right now. I'll see if I can get a camera zoom in. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I should test this out in, in arena. I decided to use my Miho team and kind of use the whole uh, window capture thing instead of the screen capture. Or no, I use the screen capture instead of the window capture. So yeah, you guys can see these numbers like the where I set up the key bindings and stuff. Or else you you won't be able to see any of this if I just use the screen capture. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm actually going to try to like target this wild thing and see if I get the camera zoom in. Now the logic behind this is basically, say for example, I use one of my units to hit this wild thing, um, and the camera zooms in, and I want to at the same time. Uh, really quickly target this Victoria and have another unit hit hit this Victoria. Now this this could be helpful for multiple reasons. One, it can save you time. Two, if you're trying to use like a you can actually combo damage by by using your AoE on one unit and then comboing two single target damage on two units, which basically is actually very, very good um, for doing PvP because combo basically does like I think it gives like a five percent extra damage boost and that's uh, sometimes that's enough to win you a whole fight in PvP. You know that that five percent. If if you just have that extra five percent damage, you might be able to kill something and win the fight. Um, so the logic behind this is, say for example, I use this sec this first Miho I have over here to hit this wall thing, and the camera is zoomed in. The the camera zooming in is actually just a visual effect. It actually has no effect on the actual controls of the game. So while the camera is zoomed in. Um, I am actually able to click this exact same spot. Say, for example, like the, the whole camera is going wild, it's like shaking and all that crazy shit um, going on. I'm actually able to click this exact same spot. If I move my mouse to like this, the coordinate over here, and click this exact same spot, I will actually be able to target this light valk. And then if I click over here with a second unit, um, I will be able to do an attack. So. Um, I'm gonna actually, you know, try to try to hit this thing, and then see if it zooms in. Come on, zoom in. Dang it! Zoom in. Okay, it's not zooming in. Just when I want it to zoom in, it just it doesn't zoom in. All right, we'll do the same thing, same logic. We'll hit this Valk, and then I'll try to target this Miho, and then use another unit to hit it. All right. Come on! Okay, it's not zooming in. It's being it's being weird. It's being dumb. It's being stupid. Last try. We'll try this again. We'll try we'll try it again on this Miho. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, if I hit this if I click this spot and then I use another unit. See, while it's zoomed in, I was able to target the Shiva and hit it with the Cupid. Did you guys see that? Alright, we'll we'll try this again. See if uh see if I can do something similar. Okay, that didn't work. But if I, like, say for example, I click over here, um, I'm actually able to target the Shiva. So, the camera zooming in is actually just a visual effect. It has no actual um, impact on the control of the game. So, if you put some markers on your screen, you're actually able to basically um, target the same spot. Like, you're able to still select the monster and target the same spot as before. Which is really, really awesome if you think about it because it actually opens up so many more like mechanical things you can do while doing PvP um, it doesn't affect it too much but there is a little like a tiny part with the comboing uh, a tiny part of a mechanical aspect in terms of you know doing <laughs> doing doing PvP in Monster Super League so that that's actually something um, something to consider so the he actually made a guide um, talking about all the uses of him, like how to set it up, how to do this on on emulators, and all the all the like all the key binds of the way he set it up. And I think it's actually pretty nice. You can actually bind it to any key you want, but I think for most people, uh, most people would be comfortable with using like QWER and one two three four because 
if you play any like MOBA games or anything like if you play like MMOs, your hand is usually aligned on like um, you know A ASD with um, you know WASD. But if like if and if you're playing like MOBA MOBAs, then your hand is on like QWE R. Um, so so I think for most people it, they would be more comfortable keeping their hand there. So the way he set it up basically is to have um, have your units with Q, W, E, E, R um, as their normal attack and then you can sign, set a keybind um, to do their special attack with A, S, D, F and then you set the enemy, like target enemy as 1, 2, 3, 4 and then he uses 5, 6, 7 for um, stages with only 3 enemies you know. So um, I'll show you, show you kind of how I set it up in the game we'll, we'll enter a random stage or, or we can actually enter a random Astromon Astro League battle and we can see this as well. So I just I, I picked a really easy fight just so I can like you know if, if I just even mess mess up I can still win. Um, so the way you set it up is actually very simple. Now you will need to have an emulator that has this function. I know that Nox has well I I know that Nox has it because I'm currently using it, and I'm not sure what emulator he was using. I think that might have been Mimu. I think some people use Mimu. Um, I know that Ko Player also has this function. And I'm not sure if BlueStack has it. I, I remember BlueStack not having this function. Um, okay, so you basically you go to the side and you're able to um, you know click click and open this this window um, on the side. It's over here. Stupid ad is like blocking it. Um, and then you're able to open this screen. And you basically just you just click anywhere on the screen, and then you you press a key on your keyboard, and then you can assign a, a key to basically tap that screen. And you can also click and drag, and then um, and then you know press press something to to make this work as well. So um, basically, you just want to set up Q W E R, and then you want to drag up over here, and then you know set up like A S D F, and then you want to you want to put like one two three four it doesn't even need to be in on an exact spot as long as you're able to target it and then he says shift over here I basically copied his keybinds I think it's a really really nice keybind because it's it's easy to press like I play I play MMOs I play MOBA so um, <laughs> this is it's pretty nice and it actually feels really comfortable like actually trying to use this to um, do PvP and I think in the future like manual dra dragon speed 10 he did say in, in his guide that he's able to basically do sliming without like without touching his mouse at all. Like he can do it one-handed on his keyboard um, without his mouse. Like after he set up the keybinds. Now the other really really nice thing that he did is he also went and asked the developers of the game if this was well I think not the developers but like you know 433 like official official um, support people on 433. And they they actually gave him a response, um, you know, saying that it's like although it's not recommended, it is basically legal. Like you won't get banned for it. And I don't really see any reason why they would ban you for it because it's basically like just making mouse clicks. Although um, it's like you know it takes a little bit of a mechanical aspect out of it because if if you were to use this on a phone, you would have to like literally memorize wherever you're like wherever the the this like exact same spot was even with all that crazy camera camera craziness I mean you could literally like just put four stickers on your phone and then you wouldn't know where where the where everything is exactly or like just you know have a like if you're, you have a screen protector then you can like mark it with like a marker as well on your phone um, to know where the exact spot is but it, it, it feels really comfortable like I'm able to um, I'm gonna try to do this PvP paddle without with one hand like I'll, I'll keep this hand up here you, and then I'll just do it with just the mouse so I think three to target the Arthur and then um, yeah you can actually press all three keys at the same time like if you want to combo you can like literally just click two at the same time and then they just combo like that so, so it's actually really nice like I can target this Katito again and then I can click uh, Q and R at the same time and then these two would just combo, just like that. So it's actually really comfortable, I think. Actually quite nice to be able to PvP like this. I think I can do this. Ooh, this feels so nice. I think I'll, I'll never mess up comboing again. And then if you want to do like a full team combo, um, the auto button is on, is, is bound to shift. So I can just literally, like, I can... 
I can just tap shift once and then tap again to like cancel the auto so I can just go like that and then do a four man four man combo Ooh, this feels amazing it's like it's like I'm playing monster super league like a like an arcade game Yeah, that 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 is pretty awesome. All right, so yeah, that is that is pretty much it. Um, I only set up the basics of the the shortcuts. He you can basically set it up to like have like um you know the the way he set it up. You can actually have like how to you know like tap here for catch, and then like I think this is like an okay. I I can't remember what what this control place was for but you can like put f1 to like slime and you can do like a whole whole nother page for sliming like you can have the keys overlap um and then he has like another page like just for sliming like a swipe up and swipe down oh this is so cool i don't even know what emulator this is oh it's mimu yeah it's mimu it says on the top um but you can probably do this with most emulators most emulators do have this this option and then it's got an upgrade gem button. He's got an upgrade gem button too, and he's got like confirm evolution. Um, just yeah, really really nice. I think another thing you could do is like if you don't have two profiles, you can actually open um, another instance of Nox. So basically, like you can use the Nox um, multi multiplayer, and then like clone another clone another copy of Nox, and then. Um, you know, have set up another key binding for that copy of Nox, and then say for example you're slimy, you can just not log in with that other Nox, and then you can kick yourself offline, and then just go in really quick, and then you have another fresh um, key bind. I'm not sure if there's a, a an ability on Nox to to have like two settings in key binds, like just switch between two settings. Um, I don't think they really have that, but but I think it's fine. Like you don't really need to need to have that anyways. You can just have like two two instances of Nox, and then um, one for like sliming, or one for, and then one for, um, you know, like doing PvP and stuff like that. Or maybe you can have them overlap, like, and then sign, assign all your slamming keys to like the other side of your keyboard, where like U, I, O, P and stuff, stuff are, you know. So that could work as well. Um, it's all your personal preference, but the really, really interesting thing is like the whole mechanic behind this, how um, even when the camera is zoomed in, you're technically still able to click on the the enemy units and select them, which actually opens up a lot of um, a lot of comboing and really cool things you can do in in, in arena and, and doing PvP. Because I I never knew how I could like you know if I could if I could do like an AOE on one unit and then I have like two units that don't have their bar full, I can actually combo damage on two units, like two enemy units by using the AOE of my of the, my first unit and then having a second unit attack one and then a, a third unit attack another one. Um, and then basically getting the extra like 5% extra damage. So that's, that's actually pretty cool. Um, anyways, that is pretty much it for this, this guide video. Um, I'll, I'll be linking this reddit post in the description below so you guys can definitely check this out uh, this is by I username on on reddit and yeah thank you thank you so much for for um, for recommending this and thank you so much for for the guide and yeah I'll see you I'll see you guys in the next video um, peace out